Now that December has crept upon us, you may find yourself struggling to find a gift for that Poke fanatic in your life, and you may have found yourself come across the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, this bad bitty right here. Before you buy that, watch this video, because I've owned it for probably, I bought one on August 18th, and I, it's recording this, it is now December, whoa, November 30th, so... I believe I, I can give a definitive review on one because well, I mean I've had it for months and I've been using it for months. Hey guys, Pleblord here. And before the video starts, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the recent videos. I honestly thought they'd sit at like a nice three views, but we had about like a hundred or fifty on the other one. So I'm very happy for that. So thank you guys very much for the support. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could like and comment on this video as well, share it with your friends. Have a good day. If you've had an auto catcher before, you get the gist of what this does in Pokemon Go. If you have it and you equip it and connect it to your Pokemon Go account, it will automatically catch Pokemon and spin Pokestops for you, which is a very useful thing in the game. It is not 100% reliable. It does not catch every Pokemon, which is 100%, which is completely fine. It gives, it's like if you just threw a Pokeball, the Pokemon can escape. I have no issues with that. It has a great battery life. I mean, it lasts me weeks. The one charge on this bad bitty lasts weeks. It is great to have if you are just going around and on vacation and you want to actually spend time with your family and you still get Pokemon while you are hanging out with your family. You can still go ahead and collect Pokemon and get I get AFK shinies. That's probably one of my favorite benefits. You be you could have it in your pocket while you're at work and get Pokemon. You get shiny Pokemon. It's very good for when you play, or for when you want to play but can't play. When you're on vacation or spending time with people, interacting with other people, and you can't just, and you don't want to just stare at your phone the whole time, but you still want to play the game. It's a very useful product for that. If the, uh, your Pokemon fanatic that you want to buy this for happens to play Pokemon Sleep, then this is, this item is basically a necessity for them. In Pokemon Sleep, you, have, you would have to usually put out your phone and leave the app open the entire night as you sleep, which could eat out your phone battery. It's not good for your phone. If you use the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, you can easily just put it next to your pillow and press a button and it'll track your sleep there. And you press it again when you wake up. It won't eat your phone battery and you can still use your phone while you're sleeping. Or you could even pretend to sleep. Use your quotation marks and sleep and just put in like a little nap. You don't actually have to sleep to play the game of Pokemon Sleep anymore. But on the flip side, it is also basically a necessity. So if you don't already own this, you probably don't play Pokemon Sleep in the first place. I've been I've been hyping up this product the whole time. Now it's time to start giving my list of cons, which isn't as big of my list of pros. So when playing Pokemon Go and you catch a Pokemon with this product, it's basically a rave in your pocket. This this dude, it, those flashing lights, it vibrates, you can't really turn those off. It, you can turn off the sound itself. I keep my product in silent mode at all times. And there's a Pokemon here, I'm gonna try to hopefully let it catch it here. And then we can see it do its whole thing. I'm gonna keep it in silent mode. But this thing does absolutely fly through Pokeballs if you have it, so you gotta constantly be going out and spinning stops or you have to buy balls I'm never gonna buy pokeballs though but whenever I turn this thing on I always find myself running on zero pokeballs which is not good if you want to play the game yourself when you just get on and all your pokeballs are gone but it is useful in the fact that it does catch Pokemon when you are on vacation or something like that and you just keep it in your pocket and there's just a rave going on every time you catch a Pokemon at the big flashing lights and it goes bah, 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 bah. every time every time you catch a Pokemon there's it's it's kind of crazy I'll be eating dinner with my mom and my pocket just starts going crazy my mom will look over at me and say oh you're catching Pokemon over there and I'll be like, yeah yeah I am catching Pokemon mom there's a whole wave in my pocket I tell you but with the steep price of this this item here you I would honestly not recommend it for the casual Pokemon Go player. If you if you want to play Pokemon Sleep, I would recommend it, but I've I've uh, I've stopped playing Pokemon Sleep a couple months ago. I did, I don't really enjoy that game too much. Somebody who plays the game a lot is really into Pokemon. If you if you don't mind the steep price market, 
it is very expensive for auto catchers there are cheaper auto catchers on the market if they just want an auto catcher i'd go buy one of those but this product is pretty nice honestly i do like it i've gotten a good amount of shinies with it if you are really into pokemon go and you play often you can buy this item and it'll really help your journey it is a cool novelty item to have i'll be i'll be honest it does look cool when it is clipped onto my bag or something even if it is dead if i stop playing the game i'll keep it as a little pokemon just a little another little pokeball item because i mean i love my pokemons i will always keep them but but if you don't play like every day i don't see a point in getting this i'll be honest